Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online, and today we are back with uh, the World Cup Round 2. I'm playing on Canada Team 1, and I'm going to be playing a 70% game on Classic Frozen today. And mind me, I am exhausted. I don't know. I got, like, no sleep last night, so we'll see how we do. I, I want to represent for my team as best I can. Holy moly, my spawn for, for Africa. Jesus. Uh, so we're going to stand in alliance today. Uh, and I'm going to ask Bashar to leave. And go heart. And be like, I'm sorry, I need to hit your territory. <laughs> and then a heart. So, classic Frozen. Oh man, green's going to be going for Europe is interesting. Uh, it's also stable portals. This is tough. So, Classic Frozen, we are playing fixed 70% domination. We have alliances and blizzards on and stable portals, but no fog. So, the way this works is, essentially, all that matters is winning. You can get points for killing players, but essentially, we want to get the win, which is going to be 28 territories out of the 39. So, standard Classic map or Classic Frozen without blizzards, but you can't play it without blizzards. That's 42 territories. All this is is the Classic map with more connections. That's all this is. And forced blizzards. Yeah, he's going to start looking for play in here. That was a uh, very friendly. Because he wants me to roll this three out. That makes sense. So bonuses are still the same. Plus two for South America, three for Africa, two for Australia, seven Asia, five for Europe, and five for North America. Now, actually, these blizzards are cutting off a lot of the entryways and Middle East. Europe is uh, a two-point guard. Well, three with the portal. This is awkward. I would love if Red would fortify up. Set him a heart. Because he blocks green then. And a thumbs up. Yeah, okay. So I think he is going to fortify up, which is going to screw green over. Ah, uh, he wants to move through. Fuck. Sir, but I need to attack your territory. Where's he asking purple to go? Purple's going to take that. Purple's taking this. You can send me all the hearts you want. I'm pretty sure Purple is taking South America. He's not going to go for Australia. This is five troops to hit, which was only three troops to hit instead of seven. Yeah. Yeah. He, he wasn't paying attention. He's like, I want to go through here. But it was obvious that he wasn't going to get it. So now what? Now he's going to want to go through this way? Fuck. Green's going to get so far ahead. If green runs it, I'm in trouble. I need, I need, uh, fuck. I need purple to run it. Purple's too far behind. How do I, I guess I have to save this position. Cool, this is great. Yeah, yeah, I, I will honor, uh, I will honor that. Now what am I supposed to do? Move everything out of the way for his eight to go this way? Oh, purple's still blocking some of green. Put this up here. I gave him a pathway to Australia. Go be Australia then. That sucks. I was really hoping to get Africa first turn. Because once these guys get the plus five, we're in trouble. Pink's going to have the plus five before I get a plus three. Is he going to hit the purple four? I mean, the four can't go anywhere unless he leaves the portal. He does leave the portal for it. Oh, man. Oh. 
Go through the portal of greens. Good. That's much better. Go through this portal of greens, and then I can actually just take this territory and fortify my Congo stack out. I need 28 territories to win this game. 70% fixed domination. And my team has had the worst luck. Uh, we lost all three games last week. Uh, if you watched me play Greece, I messed up by not realizing something didn't connect. Even when you zoom in, it looks like it connects, but it didn't connect. So it is what it is. Um, so, and, and then the beginning this week, uh, 40 Creek played game one. And uh, one of the guys from, I'm not sure which country, one of the guys in the group though, uh, traded on three cards and like suicide fed him. He didn't even get a chance to play the game. Thumbs up and attack green. Like, use the portal. I want him to use the portal. He's going to do this, though, because he's annoying. Cool. And your three is going to come out this way. I guess he didn't want to fortify that. He wanted to fortify the three this way. Or up here, sorry. Purple finishes his bonus. Comes in with the four on one. This is going to be a tough game. <laughs> I go pop, pop, four and one to the right, split, leave this big. <laughs> this is going to be a tough game. What do I got for cards? Artillery is a good start. All right, Purple wants to move this stack out, and then he's going to fortify the four out. That makes sense. Give him a thumbs up. I want him to feel good about that point at pink. Pink didn't complete the bonus that early, so that's fine. Artillery and a cavalry. 28 territories. There's a lot of ones on the board. The problem with my position is I have no portal. God, that's so many open territories. We get six troops on my turn. Man. That's just so many territories. 14 does like a reach around. Actually, the four, I, I would add to it, that it does like a mini reach. 14 comes up, goes right into... Oh my God, there's so many available territories. This is the freest game ever for whoever gets the... If, if one of these guys has a set on three, like if green or pink has a set on three, the game might just be over. See, if, it, if, I, if I can get purple to hit pink, I, I will break green this way. If pink is a set on three, like, it's pretty close already. This He gets in this portal, comes right through the bottom, cleans all this. He just comes through the side and does a reach around here. It's pretty close. Right, he, he gets eight troops on his turn. So it's a 19. Say he makes it a 29. Or say he makes it like a, I don't know, a 23 and puts a 7 here and does like a reach around. 23 can hit this 2, 2, 3, 2, come up into here. He'd also have the, enough to come reach around in here. 5 on 2 this. I, I don't know if that's enough. It might not be, but it's pretty damn close. Is he botting? Sweet. He lost connection. I mean, okay. Uh, what just happened? I guess we got a kick follow while we're playing. Sweet. Um, that puts me in a bad spot. How do we how do we stop Pink from winning the game right now? Something like this. The green's sending me a heart, but like we're pretty much. This is not good. I'll put this here. No set for me. Dude, set on three for these guys is bad. If they don't have a set on three, though, and purple's a bot, purple bot will start slamming them. I wonder if my 14, it, my 14 should hold. I don't think it 16s me. I think it's more likely to add to the portal and start hitting stacks off the portal. And if the purple bot causes enough mayhem, maybe I can run off that. Maybe it opens something for me. 
I'm on 33 troops. I get six on my turn. Okay, so 32. I get I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven territories. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Or say 10, 11, because I won't get this. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 25. I need 28. I don't see a 28 path. And that that's what like that's even assuming that I'm gonna get all this. I'm I'm not. Shit, man. He's going to his portal with that. No, he's gonna guard the bottom. Okay. That's not a that's a that's not a good guard. He's guarding two in an awkward way. Well, fives are good. Fives are enough for him. Okay, he opens the 15 to go this way. Purple being a bot actually might cause... What a weird game. My game crashed. I can't reconnect. Sorry, guys. It's unfortunate. Um, I have to win this game. Like The only chance we have uh, of making it to the next week is uh, if I win this game and Adam wins his game. Or at least we win one game and get a lucky golden game roll or something. 12 on 8. 5 on 1 here. 12 on 8 could highlight. Yes! Okay, so per green's now the problem. It doesn't open anything enough for me, right? If it has a set, my 14's in trouble. Huh. How do we, how do we stop green from winning? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I mean, would he win? Let's go to Japan. Shit, man. This is a problem. I'm, I have to hope that purple doesn't have um, a trade. This is bad. I don't have a set on four. Dude, why can't I, I? I need to stop playing this game. He's got a set on four, big set. I thought about trying to break him or, or breaking him here, but then it opens the 15 to orange. Might be easy. Bad dice. That's game. Yeah, it's game. I mean, it is what it is. I, I should have broke green then. Oh, he's even getting dice there. Bad, bad roll. Bad roll. Lose this roll and then we got a chance. I mean, he probably gets it. He hits my seven? Dude should hit the five. I played fucking off. Anyway, whatever. That's it for a World Cup. Uh, probably, unless Adam wins next week and something magical happens. That's basically it. Um, I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want from me. I had no set on three. I could have broke green. I would have I would have delayed him five troops. Maybe that would have been the better play. I should have broke him. If I break him for the five, he can't make the run there. So yeah, I, I guess I, a misplay. It's it's just it's tough. Like I, if I break him, I don't have the four to. Four. The problem is purple's bot. So if I break him and this isn't big enough, and then purple trades on three or doesn't even trade on three, but puts all five troops here and hits me like sixteen v fourteen or something, I'm fucked. And then green had the eight in Afghanistan. Like, he had just a god spawn for Europe. And then it's essentially game over, right? Uh, especially with purple botting. I should have broken him. It would have given me better chances. But I, I, I then I'm at a different risk, right? Um, I, I didn't recognize his name. Uh, there's not a lot of Saudi Arabia players in risk at the top level. So I was... Uh, I played on the basis of assuming he wasn't going to make the 70 if he tried. But he did. So props to him. Good game. Uh, probably World Cup is over for me, which would be, I mean, kind of a blessing. I don't have to worry about it. And, uh, yeah, we, there's no ranks to show. I could have checked them, I guess, in the lobby, but I didn't even think of it. Anyways, thank you guys for joining till the end of the video. Um, this is Saturday and I, I think I'm playing a guillotine gauntlet this afternoon. So if you're watching this video in the first couple hours, it comes out. I should be live on Twitch later today to play some guillotine gauntlet, which is a cool tournament with 24 of the best players in the world. And 800 USD prize pool for the winner. Winner only out of 24 people gets 800 bucks. So it's going to be interesting. 
It's going to be a lot of people there. So check me out on Twitch today if you're watching this on Saturday. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.